everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Summer. Switching things up for today's tutorial and doing a short clipper cut tutorial. I have never done one of these on my channel, so I'm excited for something different. Clipper cuts, I feel like, can be a little scary for people, but once you have it down, it's such an easy cut, and it's nice because the cutting method is different than your traditional longer haircuts, and you only have that client in your chair for 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the hair. I'm going to be going over guard sizes, how to determine how much length you will be removing with your clippers and how to blend in the sides and top to the haircut. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off my clipper cut, this mannequin obviously has a little bit longer of a hair, maybe than somebody would be coming in with for either a touch up of a clipper cut, but let's go based off of that the hair is currently this long for a clipper cut. What I like to do before I start using my clippers is I will clip up some of the hair in the top portion. So what I typically will base that off of is where when you put the comb to the side of their head, where the comb leaves the scalp. So you just come in, take your comb, I'll pull up some of the hair out of the way, put it up against it, and right about in here, just below kind of that eyebrow bone, I will just clip the hair up out of the way. And I'm just gonna follow that guide all the way around to the other side of the head. Okay, so now that we have this sectioned off, what I'm gonna talk about first before we go into the actual cut is the guards themselves. Clipper guards range from one through eight, and you can get a set that usually has one, two, three, four, six, and eight, and then often you can find a set with the sizes five and seven in there as well. Um, usually, I think it's like four, is a three fourths of an inch is left on the head. But what you can do if you are nervous about how short you're gonna go or your client doesn't know like how short each guard is, you would wanna just simply take your guard. So you would just take a guard, whichever size, and you're gonna run it through the head on its own. And all the hair that's popping out here is going to determine how much length is gonna be removed and how much length is gonna be left over. So you can see there, all that hair sticking out, that's what would be removed. So you can use that as a determining guide for the length that your client wants to be removed. So what I always do is I start off in general longer with my guard and work my way down. So I'm going to be doing this like in a classic clipper cut style. I'm going to probably go no more shorter than a number three. So what I like to do is I just, again, I start off longer. So I'm gonna start off with about a number six and work my way down. Okay, so I'm starting off with a number six guard and I'm just gonna work my way all around the head and then we'll move down to our next guard. So when you are going through with your guard, you wanna make sure that you're lifting straight off of the head. So don't come in and pull out. You wanna just go straight up. And then also when you are applying it, you're gonna go straight in and go up. Don't kink up at it or jab into it, just go straight up. Okay, so we have our first guard done, which I did a number six, so it's starting to shorten that up everywhere. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and let down a little bit more along the side of the head to make sure I'm getting all that hair. And then again, we're going straight in and straight out with it. You don't wanna come in and twist with your hands at all, straight in and straight up.
All right, so we have our first guard done. We did the six all over just to start creating our base to get some of this length here off of the top. And I'm gonna switch now to a four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my guard, I'm gonna push the lever on the side here up, making it a four and a half. So it extends a little bit of length to work our way down into blending. When going down in guard size, I like to run my clippers in a V shape, so to speak, instead of going just straight across. I find that it helps to keep the hair blended while going shorter. It doesn't have to be an exact V, but make sure to angle on some level going through the back section. Along the sides, I will continue to move my clippers at more of an angle as well. Okay, so we have our number four guard now that I've gone through to shorten it up, blending it into the six that we have here. And one thing I wanna make note of as far as guard sizes go, especially if you're unfamiliar or, or maybe your client doesn't want like a crazy short clipper cut, stop at a number four if they want just a nice classic look. Anything lower than that, your threes, twos, and ones, you're gonna start seeing more of their scalp pop through on that haircut. So past a four, it's fine, and it creates a really nice clean look, but for those clients that don't want to see their skin, don't go any lower than a number four. Um, sometimes at the most, I might do a number three right along their hairline and the neckline just to tighten it up, but you don't need to bring it any higher to prevent from the skin showing through. So now that we've created that, I'm just gonna go in with the number three just to lightly clean it up, like I said, and then we will start blending in the sides. This mannequin was killing me with how uneven the hair is dispersed through the head. I get my mannequins from Amazon and Pivot Point. This one is from Amazon, but as a whole, I prefer the ones from Pivot Point. Okay, so we've got a six all the way here at the top blended down into a three. But with the three, you very slightly can see a little bit more into their scalp compared to the four, um, but a nice clean look either way. And I only did the three kind of just up in this occipital bone region. So we're just gonna get the top sprayed down and get to cutting. Okay, so usually what I will do for cutting at first, I will blend in the sides. So I'm just gonna take right along kind of in the brow region and I'm gonna push the rest of the hair over to the side and bring this down to start blending it in and work my way around the head. Okay, so you're just gonna push all this hair forward and comb the rest down. And then to do scissor over comb, I'm just gonna come in with my comb and we're gonna go straight up and where you see the hair underneath and the hair's kind of pulling out now, leaving it, you're just gonna come in and cut it. And you can either choose to go straight up with your comb or you can come in and round it out depending on the head shape or how severe of a look maybe your client is wanting or depending on their hair type. Working your way towards the back. Cut. Again, take this hair, push it over so you're not taking too much of that top off.
And then you can certainly adjust how much length you take off on the top for your client. But again, we're doing kind of more of a traditional clipper cut. So I'm gonna be bringing it short enough where it's cleaned up, but where there's still enough hair on the top for them to play around with. And I usually just will cut down like a mohawk section and then I shift and work my way into the sides to blend them in in the corners. So we're just lifting the hair straight out, cutting wherever you're taking it to as far as your shortness. And then we come into the sides here. I'm gonna angle my fingers slightly different, kind of rounding out with the head a little bit cut off that hair here. And rounding a little and cutting. And just go all the way back through your side corners. So if you are one who's nervous about doing clipper cuts, I suggest like getting a mannequin. I'll link this one below, I bought it off of Amazon, and practice on that. Um, mannequins, I feel like, especially a clipper cut is harder on a mannequin than a human head. So if you can do it on your mannequin, you will be able to do it on a real client in salon. That way you can get the motion down with your hands and the angling right with your clippers as you're moving through the hair. Cause like I said, you don't wanna bend into it. You always wanna go straight up. Okay, probably take this a little shorter. Like I said, clipper cuts, they're easy once you get the hang of it. It is though scary at first, if you've never done them before, because you're taking a machine and it's taking out a lot of hair all at one time. But it's just, it's nice to switch it up, you know? It's an easy in and out service compared to like a traditional haircut and blow dry. Less time in the chair. Really no product cost, hardly at all. Just getting too dry. And then the clippers, actually, this is something to note. You should be cutting the hair um, with clippers on clean hair. Obviously, it doesn't have to be like freshly, freshly clean, but if they've got a lot of product in it, I feel like it kind of doles out your clipper blades. Um, or the hair can get caught in it a little bit and you definitely want to be using it on dry hair So if you wash the person's hair before they come in Just make sure you dry the underneath part here and then go in with your clippers as far as setting a guide for a client Who's getting a traditional clipper cut? I usually will Literally just pull the hair up and be like this is this much this is that much you know where are you wanting to, to see or a lot of times they'll run their hands through the hair themselves and say like i want to be able to have this much left so just communicate with your client see how much they want left to play with some people want it really short so they don't have to fuss with it others like to have a little bit of length left for styling Okay, so now that we have the bulk of the length done on top, I'm just gonna kind of mess it up a little bit and come around and re-blend in in the side. I'm definitely gonna take it shorter in the front. I don't like, I don't like it looking long. A lot of people like it longer on the top. It's all personal preference, I guess, and really hair type. Some hair types can be left longer and more messy. Others I feel like do better short. But what I'll do is I'll come through and I'm just gonna go scissor over comb again and kind of just blend in from the sides into the top now that we have the bulk of that top cut. And I'm gonna do this all around the whole head and then I will get my texturizing shears out to also do some softening.
I'm going to take it just a little shorter right here in the front of the face to get this hair out of the eyes as this is a more traditional clipper cut. So what I will do is push the hair a little kind of to each side corner here and there's a little bit of a bulk line I can see, so I'm just gonna come in and point cut into that to soften it up. And I'm gonna do the same thing, push the hair over to the other side and soften it up. So this is nice to do, that way if a client wants to push it over to one side and back, they'll have that versatility to be able to do that on both sides. Okay, and just snip one more time on the top. So what I'm gonna do now that I'm done cutting the top, I'm gonna grab my texturizing shears and I'm just gonna go along all of the sides here where the scissor cutting meets to the clipper cuts and texturize through the top. And then I'm gonna kind of style it and see if we need to do any more blending. Okay, so we have everything cut. I did more texturizing than I probably would if this were a real client. These mannequins will have the most hair sometimes in the most random spots and then like nothing somewhere else. Over here, this mannequin's so thin compared to on the side. So what I will do is just kind of do a blow dry and style it up however the client likes and then I will show you the finished result and then do that nipping up along the hairline here. You obviously want to come in and trim up their hairline with trimmers. Obviously the mannequin, it's a little um, already trimmed, but for demonstration purposes, demonstration purposes, I will show you, you would want to make your sideburn and then just literally round out through their whole hairline. Okay, here is our final result, a nice, clean, classic clipper cut. We started off with a longer guard and worked our way down. Like I said, always start off in general with a longer guard if you or your client are unsure of how much hair you want removed. A three guard and under, you will be seeing more skin coming through. So if your client does not want to see any skin, don't go below a four guard. Scissors over comb is how I like to start blending in the sides before moving into the top. And always just communicate with your clients on how short or how high up they might want the clipper to be brought. I recommend clients with this style of cut going no more than four weeks between each cut to keep it looking nice and neat. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's tutorial. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.